It's now time for FOMO. So we are looking at the streamers, of course, ahead of Netflix's report later today. But we have a lot to get through today, not just Netflix. So we're starting off with Warner Brothers Discovery. And here now to discuss more with me is Diane King-Hall, senior markets correspondent for the network. So we'll talk about Warner Brothers first here, Diane, as I do think this is interesting, splitting its business, especially given all of the various headlines we've discussed with yeah. Paramount, who I so closely correlate with Warner Brothers. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see this development. Now, this is uh, according to the Financial Times that uh, Warner Brothers Discovery is kind of putting various options on the table uh, to help uh, do something about where the share price is right now. I mean, the shares, is, shares have been under serious pressure this year and uh, on a year over year basis as well. It's been a big decline ever since the tie up uh, back in 2021, 2022, uh, when the two merged. So here's the deal. Financial Times reporting that they've discussed a plan to split up its digital streaming and studio business from its legacy TV networks, or uh, they're looking at various options or selling assets, spinning off the business, etc., uh, in, in an effort partly to deal with shareholder value and uh, its debt load as well, which it has been working on its debt load. Uh, now, keep in mind, Warner Brothers has lost a significant amount of its market cap uh, since the, the merger. Uh, now now it's about 21 billion, uh, give or take. There, uh, shares are on the move off the back of this report. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery shares up nearly five and a half percent with regard to these hearing about these options on the table. Maybe a plan to break up, maybe a plan to split up, spin off a business, sell off uh, some of the components. And not surprised to see this because we've heard rumblings in the past about potential uh, tie-ups. Uh, we know that there were reports previously about Warner Brothers Discovery. And and Paramount in talks before. Warner Brothers has also, uh, you know, talked with others as well, uh, Comcast uh, in that space as well. Uh, but now it seems that they're back at the table. And keep in mind, earlier this week in the analyst community, uh, you had B of A analysts, uh, this according to Deadline, uh, putting pressure as well on Warner Brothers Discovery, saying do something, anything, uh, sell assets, anything to kind of right the ship here, uh, because it just not has not materialized as some expected in terms of the tie-up that this created. And I'll admit, knowing the companies like I do, I know Warner Brothers uh, better than Discovery, the tie-up never made sense to me, Jenny. You know, Diane, when I hear this, too, that, that uh, analyst sentiment seems to be echoed by the market. It's had a nice last few mm -hmm. sessions on sort of the rumors that this might be happening. Nothing that you've read to us sounds concrete or decided yet. But it sounds like a right. real acknowledgement that they're going to have to do something. And the fact that the conversations are happening yeah. um, is enough at the moment to at least get the stock price back to where it was at the end of February. It's not going to get rid of the last few years decline, of course, in a few days. But it's a start. And if you can kind of stop the bleeding, you can start recovering. I think that's the hope. Uh, is there anything else concrete? Is there an analyst feel as to where this might go yet? Or is it too uh, preliminary? I think it's in the preliminary stages in terms of the conversations, but these have happened in different innings. So I wouldn't be surprised to see kind of more, whether it's consolidation in this space or uh, some kind of spinoff, because the media space has been challenged recently. You saw what happened with Paramount. It, you know, it, it ultimately struck that deal with Skydance. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen or something like that happen with Warner Brothers because it's tried to have conversations in the past. And just it, the, you know, kind of merging of the forces didn't come to you. Can could see why they wanted to come together, why Discovery and Warner Brothers wanted to come together. They have different IP. Uh, one has more in the lifestyle space, and then one has more in, say, news and entertainment. So you could see why they thought that would do well, and then also the sports rights, et cetera. But each of these different verticals has been challenged. Now, Warner Brothers has made some progress in terms of addressing some of these issues, uh, paying down debt, making cuts. They made another round of layoffs recently. But especially when you think about the streaming space, they're going up against the king, Netflix, which we know reports earnings today. So, okay, perfect segue into Netflix because Netflix is really like the king, of course. I think it's it's become very much the Netflix versus everybody else story, but that also gives them a very difficult bar to beat for this earnings. So what are we expecting here, Dan? 
Right. It's Netflix against itself, and that's a challenge in and of itself for Netflix, especially when you think about how they said they wouldn't give the visibility uh, going forward with regard to subscribers, and that would be in, uh, in the next year. So the second quarter revenue is expected to come in at about $9.5 billion. That would be up double digits year over year. Uh, earnings expected to come in at four seventy four a share. Uh, we're going to be looking for questions about growth. What does the growth trajectory look like? Is it still holding up? Uh, its top space, its top leadership. And then how will investors respond to that choice that they made to no longer report subscribers starting in 2025? You know, there was backlash against that. When they said they weren't going to do that, the stock, you know, was hit. Uh, now there's been some calm ever since then. But, you know, is that a question that will be churning uh, this cycle as well? And then you know, what will we know about, you know, this continued conversions of those subscribers who were, you know, kind of sharing as well. They would put a lot of pressure on, uh, you know, the, the household sharing and kind of splitting that up. But they haven't fully converted every sharing household and sharing account. Yeah, and I think that that's such a good point. And I, I won that. I did have to sign up for a new Netflix, I think, over the last quarter or so because I was kicked off my dad's. Unfortunately, I, I finally aged out of the, those days. But great insight, as, as always, on the streaming conversation. Excited for these numbers today out after Thank the close. You. Dan King-Hall, Senior Markets Correspondent for the Network.